In this video, I will be showing you guys how I painted up the Chaos Blood Secretor, how I ended up messing up a vital part of it, and how I ended up sorting that out. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here from SpongeHammer.com, coming to you from the hobby shade, where I like to build, paint, and create warmer projects, just to make that hobby a little bit easier for you guys. So in today's video, I will be showing you how I painted up the Corn Blood Secretor. Now I really like this model. I have had this model since it came out in the starter set. I don't think this model is available to buy by itself. I think you have to get the Corn Bloodbound uh, kind of battle box thing. Uh, but I've had this guy for a while and it really is a shame that I haven't got around to paint him uh, pretty much sooner than now. Um, but as I said in the start of the video, I messed up big time on this model. And well, it's only a tiny bit I messed up, but it's a pretty prominent part to mess up. It's really noticeable. Um, and that was the face. Now, I, painting skin is kind of my weakest point to painting, I think. Um, it's not that I'm bad at it, it's just I haven't really practice or put enough focus into paint and skin and try and get the skin tones right i think kind of large flatter pieces like uh like the chest of a fella or the longer parts of the arm i can kind of get away with but when it comes to details like the face and i find this problem with painting skulls as well um i kind of struggle to find that mixture of dark and light to it where you have like shade in some parts and i end up going a bit little bit too much overboard now i really should have uh, practice or set a skin tone down and tried it a few times before I started this model um, but that's just me I just I just jump head on straight into it once I have my mind set to it I'm gonna jump straight into it and um, but I think this is something in the future I'm gonna have to work on I might just do a couple of models practicing different skin tones I think if I had a went with a bit of a darker skin tone I went with a very pale type for this guy I might have been able to get away with it um, but it's rather unfortunate because as I said, it was the face. It was really easy to see how I messed up. And I even messed up trying to cover up the parts I messed up. But I ended up, you know, stripping it all off. You see when it comes to that. Um, but basically, this model is made up of three prominent colors. You have your skin tone, whatever skin tone you want to go for it. And then you have your corn red and your Balthazar gold. And that's pretty much it. A lot of the smaller details, you have like your black for your pants. It's kind of hard to mess up painting black for a base coat. You just stick it two thin layers um, is more than enough. Um, some of the bone is a little bit tricky. I can do bone, but as I said before, it's just trying to find that perfect shade of light and dark. So I got a good bit into the model by now. And I just, I really should have just stuck with maybe two colors. Do your base skin color, uh, your right on flesh shade, and then maybe flat on flesh. Maybe the, the flat on flesh might be a little bit too bright. Um, but I couldn't just get his face to look right. Um, everything else went really well. I, uh, I went with all the base colours first, as you do. Uh, Battles are gold because there's a lot of gold in it and it can be as messy as you want with your first base coat. And that covers a lot of it. And then with your corn red, it's kind of like the inner parts of the armour. So you, just be, you have to be a little bit more careful with that along the edges. Um, and then pretty much with your shades over that and then just brighten up the inner parts with the colours that you used before. So I'm putting corn red on top of corn red. Um, but a little bit of Balthazar gold over the Balthazar gold parts and everything was going really well I was using lead belcher for metal the metal parts were looking good the skin was even looking pretty good at this point I remember once I got I think the right flesh shade over some of the skin and I was thinking this is looking pretty good especially the chest part I think the chest parts I can get away with in the arms but when it comes to the face it's such a focal point that I really don't want to mess up on and I tried to focus on it a little bit too much, I think. I think maybe that could be a problem that I could have, trying to sort it out. But everything was going really well. Evil Scun, Evil Scuns. Evil Sun Scarlet over the red is a really nice highlight. It really makes everything come to life a little bit more. And then as you can see, pallid witch flesh over the skin. I think I was trying to put too many layers over such a small part of the of the model. Uh, with the bigger parts of the skin, like the arms and the chest, you can get away with it. But there's so much little space on the face that it's, I think it's easier to mess up. I think I really should have just left it a little bit more easier. I think I should have just done like your base coat, your shade and your uh, highlight. And then leave it. Leave it and come back to it maybe the next day. Don't be trying to rush it too much. And I know that this guy has like half his head from me, like here back. 
it's kind of like a metal player part and I didn't really want that so I just left it um, off skin so I don't think that really helped either so here's where I messed up the skin the face wasn't looking really good so what I thought was what if I put a face paint over it like give it like a skull face paint and that wasn't looking too bad but by this point there was too many layers on the skin was starting to look a little bit blobby-ish even a little bit too thick and I made this weird idea of painting his whole black nose or painting his nose black and he ended up like looking like a dog like a filter for a dog or something like that it really didn't work so at this point I was kind of thinking this is panic mode what am I going to do to try and fix this the rest of the model looks really good I'm really happy how he turned out so what do I do with the rest of it like how do I fix this so what I did was if I can find it I use nail polish remover to strip paints from my mods. If I get a lot of all models that I want and I want to completely remove the paint, I use uh, Boots Nail Polish Remover uh, Acetone Free. This is, I used to use the Super Drug one. I put a picture up of this because I only can focus very well. No, not really. But I'll put a, put a better picture of it up. And I used to use the Super Drug one, but I couldn't find it. And I know Boots is pretty prominent in Ireland and England. so. It is there if you look on the shelves, there's not too much of it, but it is there. So what I did was, once I stripped that off with a cotton bud, just very gently around the face, give it a couple of rubs, and the paint literally just falls off. So just be very careful, you don't want to touch any other of the parts of the model, and you will get that paint off pretty easily. So I went off, and I put a different type of paint job on it. I went with less layers, um, and I even did the thing where I got the face finished and I was happy I still wanted to put that kind of scary face that skull makeup on him because that is going to be a plan for the rest of the models in here as well so I went with Korax white which is kind of one of these paints where I don't want to use unless it's like a very subtle highlight but I wanted the face to stick out now that I'm happy with it with the face paint so I went with less is a more type of approach with this with a little bit of the dark under the eyes and like a grey under undercoat with the Quarks white over it so you can see the kind of the grey line around it followed by a black line around it and you can see its face and you can see that it's meant to look like that and miraculously this worked and I was really happy how it turned out overall I love this model I think it's great but I really need to start practicing on painting my uh, skin tones especially faces I, as I said a couple times I can get away with painting skin uh, but light skin is tricky to paint and I think that a lighter uh, skin tone on the face is even harder so I think that might be a project uh, down the line where I can try and focus uh, doing a couple of models with different skin tones to really get myself to paint a little bit better but overall as you can see the model is looking pretty good I'm really happy how he turned out he is a pretty good standard I think for a tabletop and overall I was happy that I was able to rescue him from this small mistake that I made on it. I didn't have to restart the whole model or anything like that. Thank God, because it took a while to do. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to rescue him from this painting hell. But if you guys like this video, make sure to check out spongehammer.com. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button, leave a comment. And once again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.